today I'm going to be showing you, sorry for the shadow, sorry, today I'm going to be showing you how to draw the ice cream gloves, but typical me literally drew it before, so I'm just going to trace it. So first, you're going to draw this, and then you're just going to make this curve, and then you're going to go here, and you're going to kind of make this little line, and then just go and connect it with the other place you did and then you're gonna go here and you're gonna go like this and draw here and then go but don't go like this just go straight on I act I just do that with fur if I draw on the wall for dogs and then yeah I'm gonna erase that was turning out kind of weird back so then you're gonna under just under the teeth this is the I famous ice cube lips that everyone's literally drawing so I thought hey well that's why I challenged myself to draw these ice cube lips so I challenged myself and I'm going to this shape and then you have to sketch this so these are the colors I'm going to be using so I'm gonna get this red the rose petal pink peach purple you, you don't really have to use purple but it's gonna use that a little bit of white for blending and black so make sure you get all these colors ready, I'll give you some time. Okay, so now I'm going to start. So first, you're going to take, you're going to take this and you're going to lightly start coloring. In this part right here, so you get this part on the upper lip. Your pencil tip is sharp, but you're just gonna go light. But also, you're gonna you're gonna take your pencil again. You're gonna just draw this and like just some random stuff to make the light. And I forgot a little thing. A little bit of the mount edge of the ice cube is gonna just be on the lip like that. Like, Yeah, there's a lot of ways to just draw the dripping of the ice cube. You just you can just you can just do this, or you maybe you can just do something different. I'm just doing something random. But yeah, ice cubes now I cannot hold the thing in my lips like that. But that's actually kind of cool. But people can do that. Uh, so you're just gonna go light. I might be going a little bit dark, but. It's okay, you can just fix that when you're in dark. But don't do it on the shine. If you, It's okay if you get a little bit of the red color at the shine. That typically um, normally happens to me. Like on this drawing, that kind of happens right, right here. I, that happened on the shine. So, yeah. But just, you kind of have to kind of pay attention. Like, don't look, uh, oh, okay, sis, I got her. Like, uh, oh, shoot, I just literally messed it up. But it's okay. It all happens. It all happens once. I don't have a gen gel pen. You can use a little bit of white acrylic paint if you want to, or maybe watercolor. Oh, wait, stupid me, they don't even have white I don't know, maybe if you have a gel pen, you can definitely do that. And now you can take your second layer and you're gonna go a little bit darker. It's how, it's not how they draw it, it's not how they sketch it, it's how they color it to make it realistic. 
I know I don't really know a lot of stuff about it, but I do know a little bit, so I'm just too excited to teach that little bit of stuff I know to you guys. And woo, we hit 26 subscribers. Yes, I am very happy. Thank you all for the support. Also, with my little glitch drawing, someone commented and said, Oh, wow, that was beautiful, my friend. Please make more drawing like this and with two smile faces. So, really appreciate that. Um, and also, this other person, I don't really know her name, but she kind of to keep it up. Thanks so much. I actually might do a little thing. So, maybe when I hit at least. 156 subs or 100 subscribers. I will draw some people's profiles, profile pics. I need to make more videos to see more people commenting on those videos and get things. So, yeah, that might be a little fun thing to do. Maybe when I'm 56 subs, I need to share this pencil. Back. Do another layer. You don't really have to. I'm just doing it. Uh oh, no. That was out of the line, but. So now that I'm done with this, the lips, I'm going to take my white pencil and I'm just going to. Actually, I'm going to take a normal pencil. Let's see. So this, and I'm going to. Slightly start shading in the teeth right here just to get that shadow. Trust me, it looks so good on camera. It just really look good in real life. It looks like that way. It looks horrible. But yeah, so that's that. Just to get a little shadow and imitation of the teeth. And now I'm gonna just make this a little. That was laggy. That was laggy. It just lags for me. I'm gonna use the cleaner side. Coloring the shading spots. I should be really coloring, but I'm not. So now, hmm, let's think about the ice cube. But let's move on to that later. You're gonna need your black, your peach, and um, at least a little bit of pink. And a little bit of red. I'm gonna need this, but not this color and this color. So, put that aside. Okay, I'm good. Stand with me. Okay. There! The less shaky holding way. Ta da! You can finally see my hands now. Okay. Less, less talking and more. So now I think we're gonna take the black and we're just gonna slowly start to color about right on this edge. Cut it back. If you if it helps, you can sharpen it so it just like so. The moment that you realize. Okay, I guess I'll have to use normal ones. They, there, black. So you're gonna take the black or gray for now, and you're gonna start to color up around the ice cube just like this. And then you're gonna take your red and you're gonna start blending it with your black. Remember, you should you 
can just use circular motions to blend the color really well. Maybe you can just use a good old finger blender. I personally use my good old finger blender, but it's not really all very good idea. But we'll do it. Don't call you. And then you can take the peach and just blend it in with the red. Remember that there should be more black than any other color, and then it should look like this. It actually is looking kind of good for once. Okay. So you're just going to take your time and blend. I'm just going to do that and speed it up. because I have no idea how to do it myself. I actually just look up tour trails and then I start teaching it to you guys. But honestly, yeah. Yes, it is in fast mode. I learned. I learned from the great. <laughs> so I have a surprise at the end. Sorry, my lighting is not really that good today, but I promise I'll do it again. So just in some corners, just follow me. Right here, right there. But 
you're not gonna color this part. This part is part of the shine. And now you're gonna take your eraser and you're kind of going to use that to blend. Don't use the dirty side, just use the clean side, it'll come a little better. So there, there's a little bit of this part. So now that they're blended, I'm going to do a little bit more blending, but just with a little bit of darker tone to the edges. I looked up a picture on Google and I just, I don't know. Oh, it's just looking for something. Okay. Same for the places you've been doing. I hate. a little bit thinks it's just I'm just gonna go crazy like and you're gonna use the white again and start blending it in with the Anyway, yeah, that is how you do it. And now let's add the final little details. I'm just gonna go right here just for some shading work to be done. Me posing for it. Me posing for a thumbnail. Anyway, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, share if you want to. You don't really have to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell, and share. But yeah, it would make me happy if you did. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you don't, if you have a little bit problems on this part blending, you can always check out my other video. Then I. To blend and then show it to you. Anyway, yeah. Bye. 19 minute tutorial be like. <laughs>